Here we are at the Bignor Roman ruins and uh, in fact they're having a little sword fight up there, practice sword fights and so uh, nice day out for the family but we're here to talk about the BSA 650 which my good friend Ian has bought and owned for around... Ian, Three say hello. Months. Two months, hello. Two months, okay perfect. There's my bike of course. Stripping off. Stripping off, yeah. It's, it's right. suddenly got hot hasn't it? We, we were riding this morning saying it was cold and now it's too hot. Um, Ian got this, uh, how long was the order? Wait for it. Oh, I ordered it in August last year. August last year, just arrived, uh, you know, March. March, and you've done just less than 500 miles. Yeah, okay. Coming up for your first service. Yeah. I've had a little whiz around this area here, down to the main road and back, and I just said to him, they're, obviously you were running in, so we've got to be careful. More than enough power, would you agree? Well, yeah, I'm hoping, hoping once it's run in, then I can get a bit more power. <laughs> what would you say are the main things you love about this bike, Ian? Come on. This is from an owner, guys. Nothing, not, not just a quick ride from a dealer. This is an actual owner. What do you really like well, about it? This is my second bike. This is my second bike. I've got a Tiger 800. Yep. It's just nice to poodle around these lovely country lanes on this, and it's just... Yeah, perfect for that, isn't it? Calms you down, just yeah. enjoy the day out. Actually, for the viewers, that's one thing we both said. We stopped for breakfast and we both said the nice thing about these bikes is you just can ride them slowly and enjoy the countryside without feeling as though you need to do the next thousand miles to your next destination. <laughs> yeah, it hit your hand as well. Well, maybe you saw. Oh, amazing. Corners without any problem. Yep, very neutral steering, I would say. Not, not too light, not too heavy. Um, looks nice you were pointing it to me on something on the top on the nacelle what's that at the top there oh there's a display there which which will oh that's cool that's very old school isn't it i love that the only the only bad thing is that you like as you saw i leave the indicators on because there's nothing, <laughs> nothing doesn't really flash in your face so you forget yes i i know what you mean i i've done it before on my bike and i i've got now muscle memory that whenever i turn the corner i just quickly turn it off oh. and i've probably turned it off 50 times <laughs> Even yeah. though it's off. <laughs> well, yeah, my Tiger's got self-cancelling, so I got used to it. So oh, OK. So I back to the old school and remember to turn the damn things off. I know, I know. But, yeah, that's the only thing. You, you could do with a display somewhere a bit further up to see the flashing see lights. See flashing but, lights, yeah. But, yeah, other than that... Now, you have had one warranty issue, haven't you? I know that. So, yeah. tell me about that. They, uh, it, it, um, they found... Um, it's had the oil tank replaced. It had a um, hairline fracture on the... Uh, the back side of it somewhere so they replaced the old tank is it is that here it's or behind hidden behind there, there? That, that yeah. cover comes yeah. off okay it just pulls off and you've had oil the 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 whole thing replaced the whole oil tank okay behind that panel now what we notice today of course is you've either got some residual mess or it needs doing again uh, yeah, I'll, I'll have that looked at on the um, yeah when it goes for its first service. I so mean, to be fair, it's all covered under warranty, so it's not a major issue. But, but other than that, there's no other issues. No, like people have had engine management lights initially, but apparently they uh, it was all set up for uh, India because that's where it's come from. Oh, uh, okay. So Funny enough, mine's showing um, I was doing 100 miles an hour down here. <laughs> and and parked. Look, look at my speedo for parked. Oh, stuck on. I'm doing 60 now. So, uh, <laughs> yes, I, that's what we used to do to aircraft. Yeah, I know, that's right. Yes, uh, Ian used to work with. Asking how much was it, or there or thereabouts? Seven thousand three hundred. Seven thousand three hundred, which I think is interceptor area, Royal Enfield interceptor area. And it's the um, it's the legacy edition, so it's probably a little bit. You can get the cheaper ones. Ah, I didn't know there was a different. What what does the legacy mean? That's the, with a chrome tank. With a chrome tank, which There's is other beautiful. Ones which come in different colours, but uh, That's the legacy nice. is uh, yeah. yeah. Did you why? Just out of interest, BSA. Why BSA for you? Do you Anybody in the family used to have one? I, I, no, I just um, bike show. Oh yeah, I went to the, bike, the bike show, and I sat in one before it came out, and I, even though it was only in the showroom, but I just loved it. Yeah, just loved it. Yeah, I'm I mean, just going to put my feet firmly on the ground as well. Oh, I know, I know. I just was, there was a Triumph Tiger adventure bike at the cafe a minute ago, and I looked at that seat height, and I thought I just don't want to 
totter, t- trying to reach the floor all the time. It's quite scary, isn't it? My lowered on the tiger. Is it? Yeah, yeah. I, it's quite scary when you when you pull up sometimes and you think you can't get both feet flat. But uh, no, that's nice, really nice. It looks, do you know, it, they've done a clever job. It looks like it's back in the 50s or 60s. But of course you've got the radiator, of and course. I've learnt what all these... Oh yeah, what does that mean? It, it, it's um, BSA stands for Birmingham Small Arms. So it was the rifle so manufacturer. So they used to make rifles yeah. in World War II times. Wow. So that's what that means. They don't do, still do them, do they? You know? Uh, no, they don't make no. things Okay. Now. I've spoke to an old guy the other day and he said they... Um, he said it stood for something else. They made out something. Sore ass. <laughs> something sore ass, they said. Br- British, British sore ass. Sore ass, yeah. <laughs> I've not had a problem with that as yet. No. Oh, you got ignition on, by the way. Got a nice little... Yeah. That's clever. I, li- I like those little designs that you sometimes takes a while to pick them up. Uh, and you've got it on the, the um, thing as well, petrol cap. No, yeah, the 1903. Yeah. Straightforward petrol cap, unwind, screw, screw in, or is no, it... No, it's a key. It is a key. Oh, crap, that's clever. Hidden. Here's a key. And you've got a USB... Oh, was that standard? Yes. USB standard. No, they all come with that. Okay, perfect. So you can charge your phone and your bits USB and pieces. And micro, right? If you had like one of those sort of um, tank bags from Trip Machine, like leather one I've got, you could put your cable running into there for your phone and charge it, or you could put it there, obviously. But you know, if you've got other bits and pieces like cameras for YouTube, what should I put that on the tank? I don't know. I've had mine on for a year. It made no difference. Yeah. It's really clever the way they've done it. But I know what you mean. Very nice, Ian. Listen, I'm going to wrap this up for the viewers. I just wanted to show them the, this bike. And I just wanted the chance to talk to an owner as opposed to just go to the dealer, boil the bike for half an hour, you know, and, and make a comment. It's nice to speak to an actual owner. So, Ian, it's a double thumbs up, I'm sure. Would you buy it again, knowing what you know? Oh, yes, definitely. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. There you, you go. watch the reviews on people riding, they love them. Yeah. Very nice. That's, That's what awesome. It says in the tin. Yeah. That's what it says in the tin. Love that. They even, they even reproduce the cooling fins, which is not necessary as it's um, of course as it's water cooled. But that that's again that just makes it look old school, doesn't it? Yeah, that's they so to clever. Stick closely to uh, the original. Except yeah. Obviously now it's got disc brakes and fuel injection. Well, you know, let's let's be honest. You know, as we've got older, we want bikes that go and stop. And stop. You know, I don't want to be by the side of a road with a with a problem with the starting system. The points don't work and all those things that used to happen. Yeah. Um, so no, that's awesome well thanks for letting me look at it thanks for letting me ride it i loved it i literally went around to, i didn't go far but i took it out on the main road and it's built for these roads isn't it it's just fantastic built for these roads thanks ian thanks right. for your time you're today welcome. you're welcome cheers bye everybody <laughs>